Mankind, for all its genius and amazing achievements, is still far from infallible. Buildings still have to be built, and that takes the collective know-how of hundreds of people, and anywhere along the chain of human existence could easily appear a weakest link. Take the Titanic, for instance. Sure, they rammed into an iceberg, but had it not been for a design flaw in the ballast and the hull surrounding them, the impact could have been significantly less devastating. Here are 10 more ways humans are far from perfect. Top 10 Worst Engineering Disasters Number 10. Tacoma, Washington Bridge Disaster The Tacoma Narrows Bridge is a pair of mile-long 1,600-meter suspension bridges with main spans of 2,800 feet, 850 meters. The first bridge, nicknamed Galloping Gertie, was opened to traffic on July 1, 1940 and became famous four months later for a dramatic wind-induced structural collapse that was caught on color motion picture film. Surprisingly, the only fatality was a black cocker spaniel. The first replacement bridge opened in 1950 and a parallel bridge opened in 2007. Number 9. Cleveland East Ohio Gas Explosion This disaster occurred on the afternoon of Friday, October 20th, 1944. The resulting gas leak, explosion and fires killed 130 people and destroyed a one square mile area on Cleveland, Ohio's east side. At 2.30 p.m. on the afternoon of Friday, October 20th, 1944, Above ground storage tank number four, holding liquefied natural gas in the East Ohio Gas Company's tank farm, began to emit a vapor that poured from a seam on the side of the poorly structured tank. As the gas mixture flowed and mixed with air and sewer gas, the mix ignited. In the ensuing explosion, manhole covers launched skyward as jets of fire erupted from depths of the sewer lines. One manhole cover was found several miles east. At first, it was thought that the disaster was contained as spectators returned home thinking that the matter was being taken care of by the fire department. At 3 p.m., a second above-ground tank exploded, leveling the tank farm. Number 8. Hyatt Regency Hotel Walkway Collapse This was a major disaster that occurred on July 17, 1981 in Kansas City, Missouri, killing 114 people and injuring more than 200 others during a tea dance. At the time, it was the deadliest structural collapse in U.S. history. On July 17, 1981, approximately 2,000 people had gathered in the atrium to participate in and watch a dance contest. Dozens stood on the walkways. At 7.05 p.m., the walkways on the second, third, and fourth floor were packed with visitors as they watched over the active lobby, also full of people. The fourth floor bridge was suspended directly over the second floor bridge, with the third floor walkway set off to the side several meters away from the other two. Construction issues led to a subtle but flawed design change that doubled the load on the connection between the fourth floor walkway support beams and the tie rods carrying the weight of the second floor walkway. This new design could barely handle the weight of the structure itself, much less the weight of hundreds of spectators standing on it. The connection failed, and both walkways crashed onto the lobby, killing 114 people and injuring more than 200 others. Number 7. Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant Disaster this incident is the worst nuclear power plant accident in history and the only of the level 7 on the international nuclear event scale, resulting in a severe nuclear meltdown. On 26 April 1986, at 1.2340 a.m., structurally unsound reactor number 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant located in the Soviet Union near Pripyat in Ukraine exploded. Further explosions and the resulting fire sent a plume of highly radioactive fallout into the atmosphere and over an extensive geographical area. 336,000 had to be relocated. Number 6. St. Francis Dam Flooding William Mulholland's career ended on March 12, 1928, when his St. Francis Dam failed just hours after being inspected by Mulholland himself and sent 12.5 billion U.S. gallons of water flooding into the Santa Clarita Valley, north of Los Angeles. A 10-story wall of water rolled down the Santa Clara Riverbed at 18 miles per hour, 29 kilometers per hour, towards the Sea of Ventura, and the next morning revealed an unbelievable catastrophe. The town of St. Paula lay buried under 20 feet of mud and debris. Other parts of Ventura County were covered up to 70 feet. Disaster recovery crews worked for days and the final death count has been estimated at 450, including 42 school children. Number five, the Vasa. The Vasa was built top heavy with insufficient ballast and foundered and sunk into 32 meters of water just 120 meters from shore as soon as she encountered a wind stronger than a breeze. 
just a few minutes after first setting sail on her maiden voyage on August 10th, 1628. Despite clearly lacking stability even in port, she was allowed to set sail. This was caused by a combination of impatience from King Gustavus Adolphus, who was aboard on the date of her maiden voyage to see her join the Baltic fleet. An inquiry was organized by the Privy Council to find someone responsible for the disaster, but no sentence was handed out. The death toll reached between 35 to 50 sailors and crew. Number four, the Boston Molasses Disaster. At 529 Commercial Street, a huge molasses tank, 50 feet tall, 90 feet in diameter, and containing as much as 2.3 million U.S. gallons collapsed. Witnesses stated as it collapsed, there was a loud rumbling sound like a machine gun as the rivets shot out of the tank and that the ground shook as if a train was passing by. The collapse unleashed an enormous wave of molasses between 8 and 15 feet high, moving at 35 miles per hour. The molasses wave was of sufficient force to break the girders of the adjacent Boston Elevated Railway's Atlantic Avenue structure and lift a train off the tracks. Nearby buildings were swept off their foundations and crushed. 21 were killed, along with 150 injured. Number three, Skylab. Weighing 75 metric tons, Skylab was launched the 14th of May, 1973 by a Saturn INT-21 a two-stage version of the Standard V launch vehicle, into a 235 nautical mile orbit. The launch is sometimes referred to as Skylab 1 or SL1. Severe damage was sustained during launch, including the loss of the station's micrometeoroid shield sunshade and one of its main solar panels. Debris from the lost micrometeoroid shield further complicated matters by pinning the remaining solar panel to the side of the station preventing its deployment and thus leaving the station with a huge power deficit. The orbiting space station never fully recovered to its initial standards and ultimately the cost reached 3.6 billion. Number two, R-101 airship disaster. The R-101 departed on October 4th, 624 p.m. for its intended destination to Karachi via a refueling station at Ismaili in Egypt under the command of Flight Lieutenant Carmichael Irwin. Over France, the R-101 encountered gusting winds that tore back the outer covering exposing and rupturing the first gas bag. The R-101 crashed into a hillside near Beauvais, north of Paris, at only 13 miles per hour. The crash ignited the leaking hydrogen and fire quickly engulfed the entire airship. 46 of the 54 passengers and crew were killed. Two men who survived the crash died later in hospital, bringing the total to 48 dead. This particular airship disaster is worse than the ill-fated Hindenburg. Number one, 1970s DC-10 disasters. In 1979, after a string of numerous malfunctions, including door issues, DC-10s, all series, around the world were grounded following the crash of American Airlines Flight 191. Flight 191 lost its number one wing engine after taking off from O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, USA, May 25, 1979. As the engine separated upwards, it ripped through the leading edge of the wing, rupturing hydraulic lines which caused a hydraulic cylinder that locked the port wing slats to fail. As airspeed was reduced per AA emergency climb-out procedures, the slats retracted, the left wing stalled, the plane rolled left and crashed before the flight crew could recover. All 271 people on board, plus two on the ground, were killed in this accident, the worst single plane crash in America.